Hey everyone, today's post is all about how regular exercise can relieve the symptoms of anxiety and stress. Later on in the post, I am going to be at Club Active Gym in Kells and I'm going to be chatting to the lads all about what they think about exercise and our mental health. I think this post is really important because I woke up with anxiety every morning in January. I joined the gym in February and the morning after my first class, I wasn't anxious. (laughs) Like that's how quick. The effects happened straight away because when you exercise, your body produces endorphins, which are our body's natural happy pill. So the more you do it, the better you feel. So as well as that, um, exercising decreases our levels of tension. It elevates and stabilizes our mood. It improves our sleep and our self-esteem. So all around good results. The effects of exercise on my anxiety were pretty much immediate. So I really want people to get out there and give it a go. And I also had this new focus because I joined the gym. I was going to three three classes a week. Um, I had lots to think about in order to get there. Um, So I had this new focus and I wasn't constantly thinking about anxiety all the time. So that really helped too. And exercise is a really healthy way of coping with something really shit. So you need to give it a go. Let's go chat to the lads in the gym. Um, I do, I do call it as a big influence on your mental health. First of all, when you exercise, uh, your body releases endorphins and makes you just feel instantly better about yourself. Um, personally, you know, if nothing goes right in the day for me here in work, or what you call it if on a Saturday if I do nothing else but a workup I instantly feel better or I've accomplished something or I've done something that day. Are you nervous Brian? (laughs) So Brian you have another little friend with you for support. What keeps you motivated long term? I think the big thing is balance, you know, so you don't go straight into it, you know, trying to do two or three hour workouts a day, you know what I mean? Take your time. If you start off a 20, 30 minute workout when you start first, you kind of build up on that. Do you know what I mean? Also, there's a number of different classes you can try out. Do you know what I mean? So if you try boxing, you realise, oh, I don't like this class. Or you might try spin the next day or a gym workout. You can vary it and mix it up as much as you can. Like one thing about motivation, motivation wanes. Like if I train, you know, four or five days a week, I'm not going to be motivated to train every day. Some of it's down to habit. You just have to turn up, get it done. Um, what helps with motivation then as well is signing up for little things a couple of weeks in advance so a race, a fun run, um, you know, anything at all. Once you're signing up for stuff it's going to keep you motivated in between the moments um, when you're not fully. <coughs> Just get your foot in the door is kind of the main thing. Like, there's not one of the members we have that hasn't been nervous for us in coming in. I know myself, I go to a different gym, I'd be sick with nerves. It's, it's only natural but once you come in and you realise, you know, it's a friendly atmosphere, everyone's doing their own thing, you know, in the sense that, you know, they don't care what you're doing, you know, it really doesn't matter. Just get in and walk away on your own and start off small again, as I said, you know, you've only come in for 10 or 15 minutes for a look around on the first day, once you get your foot in the door, it'll make a big difference. Keep watching and we'll show you a few snippets of what we do here in the gym. That's it, well done, well done, keep going now. Everyone working hard. Finish strong. Give me a like, give me a share.